So hey everybody, I have a couple of things to do today with the DJI Avada because we're getting ready to do a flight at a client location in just a couple of days and it's a flight in zero AGL so that means that we need an unlocking code from DJI. I have already gotten the unlocking code from them so my next step is to actually get it set up with the uh, DJI Avada. Additionally, apparently a update to the firmware, a, a secondary update, has popped up recently, so I might need to be doing that. So this is kind of a by the seat of our pants. By the way, I'm using the Osmo Mobile 6 with my mobile, uh, with my iPhone uh, 14 Pro. So we're trying out the Osmo Mobile 6. Number one, the tracking seems to work good. I don't really know where to look on the camera, so I think I'm looking over here, but I know the camera's right around there. This is gonna take a few minutes if we get everything done that we wanna get done. So before we start anything else, I've got the Avada setting out and ready to go. Um, I've got an iPad here because the phone is recording this entire scenario. So there's the iPad right there. Um, the goggles are right over here, so I'm gonna be doing the goggles momentarily. And um, also we have the controller. I don't think we're really gonna be using the controller for any of this. But who knows, we're gonna find out. So first thing I wanna do before I do anything else, we'll get the, um, we'll get the power supply for the goggles set up here. So there we go. And then we also need to get the iPad ready. So I'm gonna connect the iPad. And with the, with the most recent firmware update before whatever we see today, I think we all know that we do have uh, remote ID turned on on our Avadas now if we've done the latest updates. So there's that, but uh, now we've got this connected up. So when we go to a customer job site, the person who's the spotter, either myself or Jody, will be watching things on the iPad, but we do have some cords dangling around and it's a little annoying, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna set this one over here and we need to also connect the goggles. So I'm just gonna get this ready right now. So we're gonna connect the goggles to the iPad and we're going to turn on screen recording on the iPad momentarily. So next item is going to be the power supply here. So just getting it ready for myself and um, you know messing around with two cables right now is definitely a little annoying. So let's get that set right there. All right next thing I'm going to do I set the Avada just a little ways out of the way and we're gonna go power it up and then we're gonna see what happens next. So, just gonna go over here. And there we go. So, up, oh, catch myself back on the screen there. So, the tracking on the Osmo Mobile 6 works really well, that's pretty nice. So, the Avada is turned on. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually turn on the goggles, and we'll also turn on the motion controller. So there we go. So we're waiting for the motion controller to sync up, and we're waiting for the goggles to fully power up. Next thing I'm going to do on the iPad so that you can come along with me is we're going to start a screen recording, and we want the microphone on. All right, so now we are screen recording on the iPad. So let's head on over and we want the DJI Fly app. So there we go. And so what you're seeing on screen now is the Go Fly app. So like I said, I've got two different things to do. We wanted to find out about the latest firmware update. And in addition to that, I also wanted to take a look at getting the unlocking code done. So I figured let's make sure that the firmware is done first and then we'll worry about the unlocking code. So right now, we've got GoFly on here and nothing else seems to be going on for the moment. So I'm wondering if that last update was the last update that I needed. Okay, so let's see what's on the screen here. So on this screen, I am seeing aircraft and warning zone, fly with caution, and interference in the motion controller's location. We do have a lot of Wi-Fi in here. So let me pull this back up and let's hit the go fly so that you can actually see. Now, sometimes one of the problems that we've had with this 
is that the uh, images and the messages from the goggles don't always match up with what we're seeing on the iPhone or the iPad. Right now, though, what I am looking at is our hallway from the Avada. All right, so that's looking all right. But now what you are seeing on screen, so this is kind of exciting to me. Um, you're actually seeing on screen, and we are recording it, connected device may not be bound to the aircraft. You may continue flying with the connected device five times, connect to your bound device, the goggles. Now, we seem to have to do this every single other, you know, like every other time, it's telling us that the goggles are not bound. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hit the binding setup on the Avada itself, and then we're going to, um, then we're gonna rebind this. So, I'm running over to the Avada, and let's see here, I just hold this in for a moment. There it goes. So now the Avada is ready to bind. And look at that, that message went away. And now I am just binding the goggles again. And now that binding is no longer on screen here. So this is, this is one of the really weird things that we've experienced with this that sometimes that message will just pop up. And if you're the pilot, you're not, looking at the, uh, you're not looking at the iPad screen or the iPhone screen. You're looking at the area that you're in and where you're gonna start flying. So you kind of do need that spotter right next to you. So let's pull this back up here. And we've got our cables over here. So everything's looking all right. It's not saying anything to me about a firmware update. So I want to go back, I'm gonna arrow back here, and I'm gonna go down to the profile. Let's see if I get lucky here, and this is gonna be really easy for us. Um, oh, there's check for firmware updates right there. But I wanna go unlock the GeoZone, and let's see, flight controller, serial number, uh, licenses. So let's import, and let's go here. And okay, Ironstone Avada test, and it's valid in a couple of days, so it's not valid right now. But here we go. This is it. So, all right, this is way easier than I thought this video was going to be today. So we didn't get hit with a, um, we didn't get hit at all with the firmware update. So I guess I'm on the latest firmware update. But getting into the unlocking licenses here. All right, so for the 18th, we're good to go. And I guess I just flip this tab over, so the next part is going to be, and um, it's not letting me do it right now. So one of my big questions is, do I have to do this on site? Do I have to do this day of? Um, so we're not in the valid period right now. I'm gonna say I agree to these. We're not flying anywhere, we're in the living room, we're all safe and secure. And now, apparently, the Ironstone Avada test is ready for me to go. This is awesome. Uh, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Here I was worried about you know, running into an issue. So the, um, the job site that we're doing, for those of you familiar with the channel, um, this is one of our job sites that is in zero AGL, so we have to do the Lance request, we have to wait for, you know, um, further information from them. I did get my unlocking code this morning, so the unlocking code says I'm good to go. By the way, um, apparently I have washed myself out with the Osmos little um, extras here, so my apologies. I'm not usually a glowing fuzzy person, um, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to hit the sync one more time. And so, yeah, right now we're not in the valid period, and let's go back. So I've got my flight controller information, which I'm gonna blank out on here, so sorry about that. But so there's that unlocking, so it seems to me that when we get to the job site, um, we'll just be doing that. The other thing with the job site, we're not flying the Avada outside. We're flying the Avada in the building, so the exterior construction's pretty much done. Now we're documenting what's happening inside the building for the client as well. So even though we're flying inside, we're gonna get those, uh, we're gonna get those messages about the GeoZone because of the proximity to the airport. So that is why we need those unlocking licenses. I'm gonna turn this one off for now and we'll go back over here. All right, there's the flight controller. But so there we go, that unlocking GeoZone did work out. While we're here, 
Let's check for the firmware update. Not that I want to do it. And uh, let me see. It's not letting me tap on that at all. So I guess there's nothing for me to do right now. Um, sync flight data is done. So this is way quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, we're all set on the firmware, so I guess that's that. And then on getting the unlocking license done, way faster, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. As you notice, let's arrow back in the DJI Fly up here really quick. So where we had to do this, I'm just looking down on the lower left corner, you got album sky pixel profile. Go to your profile. Um, under your profile, you got device management, a couple other things, find my drone, and you have settings. Under the settings, this is where we can check for the firmware. Um, sync our flight data, check out the camera view so we can turn that on uh, when the app's enabled. Flight tips, clear your cache. What are we caching here? I don't even know. Uh, privacy information language, there's the unlock geo zone. So that's where we went in and we went to the aircraft unlocking license and we've got our custom name that we gave it this morning on that unlocking, Ironstone Nevada Test. So I think I'm good to go and we can actually do this testing on Sunday and um, see if we're allowed to fly it and what other information we might get. Now, I'm gonna wrap this video up, but I'm gonna play with this a little more and if I find out that there's something else going on, I'll come right back to it and we'll record that. So anyways, recorded on an iPhone, using the Osmo Mobile 6, using the iPad, connected to the goggles that are also connected to the battery. This is kind of a busy setup, so if you're going out on a location, we got a lot of little things going on here, don't we? We've got cables, we've got controllers, um, just a little bit of everything. So, you know, you gotta make sure that you have an actual checklist for yourself before doing this in the field. That's my suggestion, especially if you're going into someone's property. We wanna make sure that everything's working, everything's synced, everything's bound, and that we put the appropriate uh, aircraft unlocking licenses if we needed those as well. All right, everybody, we'll see you on an upcoming video.